and welcome back to Not Family Adventures. We are here at Salby Ratcliffe Gardens. Today we're going to do the four bed Winchester tour. Um, starting off out the front, there's got some lovely planting um, with some gravel stones, a nice gateway and also some nice steps up to the blue um, front door. So, shall we go in? I'm so excited. We've not actually seen what it looks like inside, so we're just going off by it here. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. Oh, wow. Wow, this is amazing. You're right, it does smell lovely in here. So, as you turn around to the front, you've got your brass lock, um, door handles, and also a little peephole as well as some nice windows up there and this big massive window at the top. Oh, I love that. Those lights are absolutely amazing. You've got a radiator. Now this is basically your hallway and it's very big so you can have shoe racks and um, clothes hanging hooks over this side. There's a thermostat there um, that is in here. This is just your understairs cupboard, I'm guessing. Um, quite nice and tidy and small. You can have your hoover in there, whatever you like to store away. I love the fact that it's also showing some beams as well coming through. That's a nice little feature. I think this might be the study. Yeah. Wow. So obviously the extras is the flooring, the office furniture and the blinds and the light fitting. Um, I love the fact that in all the Davidson's homes you always get these big massive windows to lock out onto. Now this is a really nice study space actually and I wonder where they got this from because this would be really nice and nice actually but um, yeah, nice to find out. radiator, door stoppers. Yeah, it's not a bad space at all, this isn't, is it? And I love, no. I just love the fact it looks out onto the fields over there. Um, so yeah, it's nice and relaxing, isn't it, really, to do your works, studies or whatever you want to do in here. Um, is this the toilet? Yeah, wow, it is. this is massive. I like you walking in and <laughs> do a tour. <laughs> it's a long way to go in. It is, like, from there to there. Wow, um, it's a tiling, half height tiling to all wall. So yeah, this is an extra because usually you just get your two tiles behind the sink. Um, so it would just be probably these four. Um, and then obviously the rest of it is extras. Um, I love this big massive mirror that you put in here actually. Oh, I like that light fit. Mm. And all the artwork on the wall. Yeah, the artwork and the painting. You've got usual architraves, standard white, um, and they put the chrome door handles in here. Yeah, chrome door handles. Just like ours. Just like ours, with your extractor fan at the top there. Shall I see if I can reach it? Oh, just about. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Oh. So this leads into your open plan kitchen dining room with a separate utility room in there. So we'll do this bit first. Well, so yeah, if you've got your washing machine, your dryer, um, or you could just have one in pretty much whatever else you wanted that side, it depends what you have. Is this going to be your boiler? Yes. Yeah. So this is your boiler. I love the marble worktop that they've got in here. Um, it doesn't say an extra, so I think this might be a standard choice which is really good. And I've just spotted a little cupboard behind that door. Ooh, I'm so, spotted. Oh, wow. It's another little storage space. So that's quite good because you can have your laundry bits and bobs in there if you like, because um, there's only, there's no like cupboard up there. So yeah, you can have your mop or whatever in there. So that's a really good use of space. I'm not too sure. Oh, this is your alarm system. Ah. And then you've got your usual fuse box in here. Yeah, so your alarms at the top are like this. <laughs> this kitchen though, I mean, wow. I'd love to have a kitchen like this. This is, um, so what's this say? 
the extras in this room are flooring, light fittings, quartz worktop, upgraded kitchen, induction hob, blinds, boiler housing, washing machine and tumble dryer. So you can get choose to have a washing machine, tumble dryer and all the rest of it. But this, I love this worktop. So it's quartz, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, this sink here, you've got a dual stainless steel sink with some indents in here, so it just drains away. So you don't even need a drain rack really, if you want, didn't want to. Um, cupboards, the nice grey, I don't think, I think these were standard. Um, yeah, all soft closed cupboards. It's got loads of storage space in here. Um, it comes with some plugs and a induction hob electric um some cupboards under there wow wow is that is a lot of space this, this would be good for you chris for all your cooking utensils yep um yeah lots of lots of space in here wow Whew, i think oh. you could fit in that <laughs> um you've got your extractor fan it up here which is insane like the stainless steel on there as well yeah that's pretty um Again, you've got more storage in here. I'd love to have an island as well. And I've just day. spotted this. <laughs> oh, that would be another one that would be good for us. A fridge, wow. <laughs> um, you've got a integrated fridge with a little storage space up there. And also an integrated freezer. Um, quite a good space actually. Hmm. comes with a dual oven, um, grill at the top, nice space for when you want to do some more cooking and storage again. So it's all AEG and then the fridge freezer uh, is the Lucy. Now coming around into your kitchen living area, wow this table is insane. I mean, it's like perfect size in here, I'd say. Yeah. Um, you've got some wall sockets here for your TV. If you wanted a TV up here instead of a clock, essentially. Um, I think this is just all your light switches. Yeah. yeah. So in the ceiling, they put um, ceiling lights in there, into the uh, ceiling. I love this big, massive window space here. Again, looking out onto the fields as well as, which I've never seen one of these before actually, mm. one of these windows. Um, again, that just looks straight out into the garden, so nice view there. Oh, well, there's two of them. Yeah. So this lets in so much light in here. Um, During summer you probably don't need your lights on at all, wouldn't they? We'll have to go out into the garden through the gate when we come back round, because um, the doors are locked, so. <laughs> Oh wow, it's got different doors. Oh wow. Let's swing open as you're walking through. This carpet is lovely. Wow, again, another big massive window there. You've got your TV panel, your plug sockets here, um, your media wall essentially is what it's called. Um, and again, this basically connects into the back of the wall here if you'd like to keep your stuff in that corner. You can plug it in here. Um, they've chosen to put the TV on a it looks like oak TV stand. Wow. Ooh, here's the extras. This room is quite big actually, isn't it? It is. So you get extra, well, the extras in there are floor, uh, flooring, soft furnishings, curtains and light fittings, which that is a pretty light fitting. It is very nice. Um, again, this would be a very good family home if you've got a big family or even having it, if you have lots of guests around, you could easily fit another sofa here, a whole sofa here if you wanted to, you just didn't want the armchair, or you could even have a big massive um, corner sofa there. Um, probably like here, all the way around. I mean, there's lots you can do in this room, but I like the way they've kind of set it out as it is. Um, I love this artwork, actually. Amazing. Wow. 
Be doing some artwork in our house. Um, it comes with two radiators, so there's one in that corner, and then there's just one tucked away behind the door. Um, the door stoppers in here are actually on the floor instead of the wall, um, so that's a nice little change to what you usually see. Wow, I'm very impressed so far. Right, so now we've got our little shoe covers on. We can make our way upstairs. Um, this extras in this room are full in like things, so halls and stuff. Oh, that mirror. Wow. So it's got like a little winding staircase, so it's not just straight up. That's a nice little feature. Banisters, this is what you usually get in your homes. Nice white banisters. Wow. I mean, that light fitting from up here. Amazing. Um, so I think this might be the fourth room. Wow. So obviously because this is such a big home, you need an extra water tank, boiler sort of thing. I can't even remember what they're called to be honest, but um, we've got some shelving in here, which is quite a nice little thing to add. So you won't have to do it for yourself. But this space is Big, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big airing cupboard. Now this could be bedroom four or bedroom three, depending on which end they've done it. <laughs> bedroom four. <laughs> um, this is a double size bed, um, but you could easily fit another king size bed in here if you'd like to. Um, again, bedside cabinets, there's space either side for them. Um, I like this design actually, I what do. they've done with the dinosaurs and stuff. Um, you get wall sockets in there as well. Um, integrated wardrobe. I do like that. Um, obviously that's an extra which you'll have to pay for, but integrated there just makes it look a lot better. Um, this now, this is designed by Albert Henry. Um, it's something that we've looked into before, didn't well, when we first moved into our house. Yeah. Um, it'd be very nice, nicely done, um, with three mirrors. So, very nice. I mean, they've done it very well, haven't they? Yeah, no, they have done a very good it's job on this. driftwood finish with H5 handles. So, these handles are very unique. I've not seen anything like this before. Um, so, that's bedroom four. More artwork. This must be bedroom two. Now this room comes with the ensuite. I think based on my floor plans. Yeah, again, another integrated wardrobe. Loads of space in here. Just what you need when you've got someone with lots of clothes. <laughs> Not me, Chris. <laughs> Not that bad. And again, bedside tables. Um, I think this is a double bed, I'm not too sure. I think so. Uh, again, you can easily get king size in here. Um, this is a nice little feature as well to have at the end of your bed. There's still quite a lot of space to walk through. Big window, um, radiator. Um, the extras in this room are flooring and chrome tower radiator. So that must be the heated tower rail then, if it's got a heated tower rail, which it has. So that's an extra. Um, so if you don't pay extra for this, you'll just get your bog standard white radiator in here. Um, but this just finishes this room off actually. It matches nicely with the shower. Um, the shower is beautiful. Very nice big space actually, isn't it? So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice space. Again, the nice little light fittings. And these tiles as well, I think, these might be included. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, because ours was included, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, on oh, the upstairs, yeah. Yeah, there's probably um, certain ones you can pick that are extra, but... Nice and soft. Um, again, won't do it, but these toilets are usually soft clothes um, seats as well, um, with your push button in sink there. Nice and easy to work with your extractor fan at the top. Now, as we come across, 
this beautiful little um, hole where you can just, wow, looking out here on top. I mean, I could just grab a seat and sit low, to be honest. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. And those lights are stunning. Um, so coming across, we go into bedroom three. Yeah, bedroom three. So extras are flooring, light fittings, curtains, and wardrobe again. So this is another, but this is a sliding door wardrobe this time by Albert Henry. Wow. Got carpet in the actual wardrobe as well. Um, again, another double sized bed. Um, the rooms are quite deceptive actually because they're quite. They look small, but you can actually get quite a lot in here. Um, they've managed to get a desk in here as well. Mm. Um, something that we could think about doing, actually. To be fair. I didn't even think about putting one there for us, but... I don't... Yeah. I don't know if it's... Oh, we probably haven't got space, have we? They've got Not, a bit of extra yeah. space. Yeah, because they've got that... Um, where, the, where our wall finishes here, they've got another... Good yes, the room is a bit room. bigger than yeah. ours. Um, but then it is a much bigger house than ours. Yeah, very big. Obviously, this is a four bedroom home, so everything's bound to be bigger. Oh, wow. Wow. Coming in then to your main bathroom. So, this extras are the flooring, the blinds, and again, the chrome towel radiator. Um, again, they go with the same feature running through with this big, massive mirror in each bathroom. This has got a separate bath which is very deep actually, very big. Um, separate bath and a separate shower um, with some nice doors here. Again, big nice shower with some, I might say this wrong, but porcelain, 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 porcelain nose up tiles, I don't know. But basically it's this like textured effect here um, that comes out and in. Um, again, this is tiled all the way around, whereas the bath has got um, tiles just up to a certain height, not the whole way. Um, and the shower tap is attached to the there instead of up here, because you don't need it up there when you've got a separate shower. So, wow, a ceiling lights again. That's the main bathroom. This must be a master bedroom and a nice massive walkway. Um, separate furnace, that's so. It's got separate heating here and then separate heating downstairs. Big, massive wardrobe. <laughs> wow. This is stunning. Again, great use of space. They've managed to integrate those. Very nice finish. Again, they go with this grey look every time it seems to be in this house. Wow. Um, my guess is this is probably a king size bed for this room. Uh, I think so. Loads of space in here. It comes with two windows. So you've got a little one here, which is nice to look out onto the garden actually. Yep. And then another one here, which just looks like onto the fields at the back, over there, and then it Oh, that mirror, through. by the way. I love that mirror. Yeah, it's amazing. And then into the big, massive ensuite. Um, again, towel radiator, um, chrome, obviously this is an extra, with a big, massive walk-in shower. I mean, again, going with that porcelain tiles. Wow. Look how big this is. Like, wow, amazing. Um, it's a nice sink and toilet. You always go with this white um, box standard sink with your stainless steel tap, um, push button, and also your flush slash stainless steel crane as well. And I like this feature here. Um, it's got like a frosted window, obviously, for privacy, but also it comes with a nice ledge. Which is one thing I miss in our house, a little ledge to put flowers uh, or something. Yeah. Like. Um, so yeah, that's a nice place to have candles and stuff like that. But yeah, um, 
we'll go out to the garden now I think if we can get around there so come through the garden get your usual fencing um, so it's sort of a slight incline on the garden with your brick, uh, brick here so this is your garage yeah, it's currently the office, but it will be um, a garage. Again, you've got a bare brick going round the edge, and then it goes into the timber fencing. Um, obviously, this, none of this garden will include all the planting or the. You will get your turf, um, but it won't include any of the plants. This is all extras that they've done, obviously. Yeah. I think the slabs are included. Yeah, the slabs are included, yeah. Um, a nice sized garden, definitely. Like, Definitely. Hang on. Um, some lighting system up there. Oh yeah. Um, I'm guessing it's got an outside tap somewhere. That's it. Outside tap. Yeah. More lighting. More lighting. I don't know if that's an extra if that's included. Um, sure. I think that might be an extra that you pay for usually. Um, and then you've got access to your garage. There's a door there, but obviously that goes into the marketing, marketing suite at the moment, so we won't go in there. But that's pretty much it for the four bed Winchester tour. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Um, but if you've liked the video, give me a subscribe, a like, and thumbs up.